You guys might recognize this store as Kirkby Sales and Exchange as I've done plenty of retro game tours in this store previously and right now there is an arcade, a growing arcade in the back room donned with some phenomenal toys from our childhood as well as some amazing retro games and we are here today to have a look around and me and Jess have a little go at track and field you already saw in the introduction there, me thinking I was doing the high jump when clearly it was a long jump. Jess is actually really, really good at track and field. She demolished my score and there is a high scoreboard, but for now, we're gonna get to that. Let's take a look at this beautiful room. Shout out to Nina, first off. Well done, this is an astonishing little arcade. It is wicked. I love the track and field. I love everything that's in here. I did buy some stuff as well. And as always, I want you guys to, know, to let me know which games you would purchase and I know some of you guys have actually visited Kirkby Sales and Exchange as a result of my previous videos if you want to go and visit them I will link their Facebook group in the description I know there's some people that live local randomly so go and check it out this place is absolutely booming I really really love it and I continued to say to Jess and Nina I would love this in my house it is astonishing but everybody's got to have life goals guys everybody's got to have life goals now this gremlin right here gremlins scared me to death when I was a little girl the first one more than the second the second gremlins film I kind of found a little bit more comical as opposed to the first which seemed horrifying at the time and that that toy that that whatever that I was gonna say plushy but it's clearly not a plushy that toy looks so realistic like just maybe just spray it down add a little bit of like slime and shimmer and you literally think that it was a gremlin sat right there on the top of the shelf now i just love this i need i need to just sing some praises right here because I didn't expect there to be like a driving arcade down here. It just adds so much versatility and diversity to this little room. It's just am amazing. And I know a lot of people over on the Facebook group have been saying that they've been down. They're really enjoying this. And I think it just adds so much... Like for me, like if I'm going out retro game hunting and I see a room like this, I'm just, I just felt in my element. And when me and Jess left, I said to Jess, I didn't think about anything when I was in this room. I was just absolutely loving every minute. Now here's me trying to get my way yet again with the long jump. And as you can see, I fell miserably. I'm stretching away, stretching away, stretching away. I can't take anything seriously, honestly. And we're going for the long jump again. Will I do it? Will I do it? Will I do it? Will I do it? No, I won't actually. But Jess, like I said, she's much better. We'll take a look at some of Jess's footage <laughs> right now. She's going for it. Um, this was the 100 meter dash. She just seems to like nail it. I, I think she actually broke one of the records as well. I'm just not that coordinated, if I'm brutally honest with you. We had a hard time doing the hurdles and she really, really enjoyed this. She's like, it's so addictive. But luckily it's on one of my barcade at home. Um, and then I actually love the javelin as well. We're gonna see her mess up here. And she told me not to put it in, but hey, actually no, this is not the javelin. She did what I did, the long jump slash Jess thought it was the high jump. <laughs> It took a minute to get used to it, but she did actually nail it in the end um, and she got a much better score than me. The javelin, what did she get here? 56, uh, 44. The qualifying, as you guys can see, was like 70 meter. I think on a run after this, she did actually break it, which was really, really cool. Uh, but let me know, like, what are, what are some of your scores on track and field? There is a little competition, like I said. Um, you'll see the scoreboard coming up. So here is that leaderboard. As you guys can see, there are some pretty impressive scores already on the board there. For some reason, I left without putting mine on because I'm just daft and completely got over encumbered with all the stimulation of games and toys around me. Now, just behind the cabs, there's, there's these just like, just check this out. Like how many things can you see here 
from your childhoods. Um, I saw some original Power Rangers stuff, which my brother just loved way back in the kind of early to mid 90s. Uh, there were some Star Wars Lego figures, uh, Transformers, we've got He-Man, there's just so much cool stuff, Thundercats. I, I was like, Jess, just, just look at this. And here I am just kind of taking random pictures for Instagram. Yay, there'll be more stuff. That's me celebrating. Yay, more stuff on Instagram. Okay, Gemma, go away. Box wise, condition A plus 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 plus. You'll see the Commodore 64 shortly. We've already seen a little clip of it, but this was in stellar condition, tape deck included. Again, I'm not paid to say any of this, guys. This is just my own enthusiasm and interpretation of this really, really cool room. I believe at one point Nina had a Pac-Man competition as well. I don't think that's still on anymore, but things like that are really, really just wicked. You know, when people come in, they can just dive into this and just kind of reminisce, especially if you don't have retro games at your house. Uh, this place is just really, really cool to come and just hang out and buy lots of really cool games. take a look at yet more games on offer as well lots of super nintendo unbox n64 and i've actually had my eye on that large box super metroid for quite some time i have everything but the large box weirdly enough so i have the game i have the guide i have the manual somewhere uh, but i don't have the box and i've said before in a couple of videos that i think like the more prominent titles like super metroid a link to the past they've dropped in value a little bit when i started recollecting again in 2014 that big box super metroid was well over 100 pounds like well over 100 quid um, and it's just come steadily down in price but let me know what you guys think there's always kind of somebody that comments on prices and just the general retro gaming market as a whole and how things have changed. Do you think prices have dropped? Do you think prices have increased? Across the board, forget about eBay, I'm talking about like markets and just in stores in general. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I actually did, I'm gonna tell you guys, I picked up Chase HQ. You can just clock it there on the left um, back with the uh, Sega Master System stuff. I thought I actually had that when I went in last and then I got home and realized I didn't have it and it's been one that I've been looking for for quite some time and I managed to pick it up. Now I think next time I come up here I'm going to bring my nephews and it's going to be a bad idea because it's going to be Auntie Gemma can I have this, Auntie Gemma can I have that and being the geeky auntie that I am I'm going to be saying yes to the majority of things because I want them to have as just a fruitful childhood and memories as i did back in actually nina's dad's shop um alfred and sells and exchange i've done lots of tours there in john and wendy's store that's nina's uh, dad um and stepmom lovely people i love them to bits if you're watching hello to both of you um i you guys know i just love your store as well and then again i remember this guy what is that guy there with the blue tie was that a figure from Ghostbusters? Oh wow, I'm watching this back as I edit and I'm like, wait a minute, there's more stuff I didn't see when I was in there. This is absolutely amazing. Um, just, just, I can't even, I can't even speak. It just blows me away, I love this stuff. It's just a massive nostalgia trip for me and I buzz off that, I thrive off that. It really is a massive coping mechanism for me and I know it's a coping mechanism for a lot of you guys to dive back in to things that make you feel good from way back when. But guys, we're drawing towards the end of the video so please if you've enjoyed this go and check out Cope Resells and Exchange I will link them in the description if you like this kind of stuff then definitely hit subscribe it lets me know that you're enjoying the content and give it a share if you're feeling extra generous but for now thank you very much I love you guys and I will see you in the next one my name is Gemma take care au revoir